Kickstarter is one of the most used plugins for sidechain and after 9 years it got an update and it's really good. Yo what is up guys welcome to a new video my name is Walker and today I'm going to review the new Kickstarter 2 but especially I'm going to show you how to use the new functions in FO Studio because there are some functions that are kind of hidden in FO Studio so well. I'm gonna show you how to do them. So don't wait more and let's get to it. So well, this Kickstar 1 and this Kickstar 2, as you can see, is basically the same, but Kickstar 2 have this new thing here, this new thing here, and when you to put the mouse on top, you can see this new band. We can just use Kickstar 2 as Kickstar 1. You choose one type of waveform of sidechain, like this. You can control with the mix. It's not that aggressive. But the problem with Kickstar 1 is that this type of sidechain is as they are. You cannot do anything else. So if you want any of this type of sidechain, but a bit shorter, a bit longer, you only can control the mix. So well, Kickstar 2 solved this. So let's say you want this type of sidechain for your baseline, but you want it a bit shorter, so you could only reduce the mix. Here at the beginning, right now, we have a bit of baseline that is going to clash with the kick. But this is solved with Kickstar 2 because, as you can see, when you put the mouse here, you can see a band. You can click on track, and boom, you can control the waveform as you want to. Just take this one, do it like this, for example, or this one, and you can maybe do it like this. Why would you want it like this? I don't know, but you can do it. Or for example, I always recommend you that when you have percussions with a lot of attack, like claps or rides going with the kick, you should use a small sighting to cut or reduce the attack of this percussion, so this way the attack of the kick has more space. And I usually use Volume Shaper for this, which is a plugin by the same guys that makes Kickstart. But now you can use just Kickstart 2. So we have this. And as you can see, the claps on the right are clashing with the kick. And if we use this, it is too much. And this, it is too much. So what you can do now is just take this one and do it like this. Just cut the very beginning, just the attack, and reduce it a little bit. So without, and with. They still have attack, but they are not masking the attack of the kick. And there are two more cool functions on the Kickstarter 2 that are the MIDI and the audio triggers. If you ask him tutorials maybe in logic of this plugin, it's so simple. They just have a button, they click there and they choose a trigger. But in FOST it's a bit hidden, but this is also really simple to do it. And why do you want this? Because maybe you're not making a 4 to the floor song. For example, if you're making trap, hip hop, dubstep, or this kind of genres, the kick is not in every beat, the normal sighting doesn't work for you. So you can use the MIDI or the audio triggers. If you want to use the MIDI trigger, you have to click click here, now go here and choose the MIDI out. On the MIDI out, let's say we're gonna have something like this is gonna be our kick rhythm or the hi-hat or whatever you want to sidechain. So on the MIDI out, as you can see, there's a port here, a port zero. So now you click here on the Kickstarter 2, now click here and here on input you choose the same number as here. So in this case, the zero. So right now, as you can see, it's applying the type of sidechain we have selected here, but following this thing. If we add more things, you're gonna see it more clearly, like this. But Walker, I don't want to use a MIDI out, I just want to link it to the kick sample and just do it like this. All right, let me show you. For this, you're gonna choose the audio. You know, now it's not working because you need to link the kick. So here we have the kick and the bass channel. The first thing we need to do is to select the kick channel and go here to this little arrow of the bass channel. Right click and here the creators of Kickstarter tell you to use the sidechain to this track only, but don't use this one. If you choose this one, right now if you play it, the kick is not sounding. So what you need to choose is just sidechain to this track, just this one. If you play them together, there's no sidechain. What you need to do right now is go here, Go here, go to processing, and here on sidechain you're gonna choose which one. In this case it's the one, because you can have more sidechains linked to this baseline. And now they're gonna happen two things. The first one is that the baseline is gonna be triggered by the kick, so when the kick plays, the sidechain is gonna be applied. What sidechain? The one you selected. But the second thing, and I think is so cool, is that you're gonna see the waveform of the kick. This is gonna help you so much to choose the type of sidechain and how much. As you can see right now, we have the sighting, but we see the waveform of the kick. If we have a more crazy pattern like this, as you can see, is being triggered by the kick. But why do we want to see the waveform of the kick? Well, because right now, as we can see, the kick gets onto here, so this is way too long, and all of this time, both sounds are clashing. So we can put the kick start on the kick and maybe choose this waveform. This is too short, okay, make it a bit longer. And now we can see here that maybe we can make this more like this. So they are not clashing. And if you see that after being triggered, the sound stops, you need to do this. Right now, if you play it, until it doesn't get to the next kick, it doesn't sound as it should. So the only thing you need to do is to move this a little bit here. 
the last thing I want to show you is the new band function that in my opinion is not really good. So if we click here on the band right now, it's like there's sighting but there's no sighting. Okay, there's sighting in the low end from 320 hertz to zero. If you click here, you hear exactly what is being sighting. So yeah, maybe you're thinking, yeah, this is so good because I can just sight in the low end if I want to. And for example, this can be some good on the breakdowns where you have a kick. Because for example, you have a piano, you have a filter kick, but you don't want a real aggressive sighting. You just want the low end to be clean. So you can use the audio trigger and just use the band to sight in the low end. But why do I say this is not that good? Because the Kickstarter creators are the same creators of Volume Shaper. And in Volume Shaper, you have a real band sighting. As you can see in Volume Shaper, you have this, then you have three bands. Maybe you don't want three bands, okay, but if you choose this waveform, right now if you did like this, let's say we want it from 200 to 0, okay, just the sub bass. We can have this side chain, but we can copy this, go here, paste it, and maybe make it less aggressive. So this way we have a really clean sub bass that doesn't clash with the kick, but at the same time we still have sighting in the mids and the high fragrances, so we still have this pumping effect, for example, on the bass line for the drop. This is more aggressive, for example like this, than this one. So in my opinion, they could just apply these bands on this one instead of having just this. But well, apart from this, I think it's a really cool update from the Kister 1 to the Kister 2. The new MIDI and audio triggers I think are so good, especially with the audio one that you can see the waveform of the kick or the audio that you use for trigger. I just wanted to show you how to use the new functions because they, it's so easy to use them, but it's a bit hidden. So nothing else, guys. If this video helped you, remember to leave a like and also subscribe so this way you don't miss any tutorial. And thank you so much to all these guys here for supporting me on Patreon. If you want to be a Patreon Remember, down below in the description you have a link, you can go and check all the info and subscribe if you want to. I'm gonna help you as much as you can, you're also gonna be here, you're gonna get sample packs, sound banks and all these things. So nothing else, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.